fans. I'm going to give you a lesson in collecting these shore crabs. See, I got one already. He's a pretty big one. One thing that I've learned is, well, when they put the pinchers on you, you know you've been had. <laughs> Unlike these, our fiddler crabs that are not near as aggressive, I guess, or don't have the strength, these little fellas are powerful. So you see, you got to wear good gloves. size right there is a perfect size. I need to get him though, where is he? Need to get him out of there. Let's see if I can feel him. Dang on. Be hard collecting today. There, see? Perfect size. Perfect size. Well, there's a little one. Still haven't found that one that I was looking for. I know he's in there. Make sure you look on the bottom of your clumps of oysters, too. You see there? There's a clam. I don't know if I should keep that or not. Big old clam. I can open that up for bait or not. Ah, there's one. I got it. Already must messing up my glove. Of course, they're only about 10 years old. There he is. <laughs> He's the perfect size. If you crabs down in here and you don't put the hurt on any of the population because they're all out in through here. See that one there? The wrong kind. down there he's just kind of hiding there <laughs> dip some up with this thing don't mess up my gloves too much that one yep. this is what I used to I'd go looking for arrowheads, I'd use this tool. Wrong kind of crab right there. That's one of the invasive species, I guess they're called. size. That's a perfect size. Big one? Not too big. Where did this one go? Is that him right there? Yep, that's him right there. Okay. So 
when the bait shops are out of crabs, and you want to go sheep's head fishing, you just got to get out there on your own, collect your own crabs. Ah, I saw one down in there, trying to hide. He's a little bit too small. I want ones that are big enough to maybe catch a big one. I think I see one just try to hide right there. Perfect. Okay, you get the idea. 